Right, is she going to start? Two months we've been on the optimizer. I'm going to unplug the, unplug the optimizer. Um, fingers crossed. She'll fire up. Like I say, she's not been started for two months. So, all good, hopefully. <laughs> he says. We're just going to wheel around the garage. Open up the shutter. Gloves on because I'm confident. <coughs> she's going to start up. No issues. And we'll go for a nice, I'll take you for a nice little ride out. All right then, I've got to try and remember how to do this. Oh. No issues at all then. So now, uh, what are we now? Now sort of coming to the end of February. A little bit of cold start there required, I think. We'll just let it tick over for a minute. Sounds lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Looking forward to taking them out. All the salt has been cleared off the road, so all good. All good. Just can't wait to jump on and give us some beans. I've had the first service done as well. I've also had the clutch. The slave cylinder on the clutch has been replaced. Oh yes, I've missed this bike. I really have missed this bike. Absolutely wonderful machine this. So we're fully camered up. We've got the Insta 360 today as well on there and uh, the two GoPro Hero 8s. We'll take a ride here. Like I say, all the salt has gone off the roads now, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't, I haven't been out on her. Plus, obviously the temperature, but today the temperature is 15 degrees. It's saying in my car anyway just now, so can't really moan at all. It's not a summer's day, there's not a cloud in the sky today. This is perfect, perfect conditions, and considering it's February then, yeah. I'll tell you what I might do on this, going off on a bit of a tangent, I might adjust the angle of that screen there. It looks like it could do with being tilted up a little bit. We'll see. I just looked at that and just... Go on, after you, sir. No rush on the old CCM. <laughs> Not actually going anywhere, just uh, blowing the dust off the bike. Oh, yeah, she sounds wonderful. She sounds better than what I remembered. Surprising that, you know, you don't ride for a couple of months on a bike and you get on. Wow. Really, really lovely, lovely bike to ride this. Actually, we'll go... Oops, the horn. I think we'll take a left here. Let's go nice and easy just to uh, get the oil circle out around the engine. I was actually quite surprised how, how it started up. Like I said, I keep it on an optimizer. It's been continuously plugged into that for the last... Well, I... Obviously since the last ride, which is a couple of months like I keep saying, I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> uh, I have definitely missed the rock, missed riding this bike. Been out doing the odd review here and there with uh, new motorcycles. And I recently took out the Brute 500, which is a single cylinder six, uh, 500, well 450 actually. I'll stick a link in the corner actually if you want to have a look at that, that video. And then uh, my thoughts on that, the Herald Brute 500. But not yet though, at the end of this video, um, have a look. I just can't believe this weather today. And uh, it's actually nice, you know, that we've had a bit of rain, wash, us, wash the, the grotty salt away. Certainly don't want to be encouraging any corrosion on the bike. Horrible stuff, you know. I mean, when you rinse the bike off, if you, if you do have any salt anywhere and you rinse the bike off, you've got to make sure you really get rid of all that because you're adding water to it and you know water and salt on a bike on um, you know it's not really very uh, a good concoction we'll uh, get on the bypass in a minute and wind it open a little bit and really blow the dust off you're starting to warm up nicely now so temperature gauge coming up there i think i will actually i'm going to adjust the angle of that screen very simple just a couple of allen bolts either side and then i'll tilt tilt the screen up uh, this bike is actually better than what I remembered a couple of months ago. 
when I tucked her away for the winter. Again, there's a video on the channel there. Have a look and uh, of the how I winterized the bike, which was yeah. I I, I I struggled just walking in the garage and looking at this sitting there. And I know a lot of these bikes are tucked away and they're tucked away for the for the winter. And a lot of people take them inside the house, which yeah, I mean, I was very tempted to do that. I don't think that'll go down very well though, but yeah, I was very tempted to do that. God. Very windy today as well. Had a lot of wind lately. God. We are very, very nice. The bike is on 817 miles now, so like I say, I had the service done. I had the, the guy Ryan from CCM. He come and done the service. Hello Ryan if you're watching. Done a great job, mate. Um, actually sort of like answered a lot of the questions that I had regarding the bike you know just what I done when I first bought the bike I, I sort of made a little list of the things that I wanted to ask you know uh, CCM on the first service and he answered all, all of those questions um, yeah let me know what you think of I mean, oh, do you own a CCM be interested to know have you had any trouble with one have you had a service done with them? You know, uh, how did you get on? Um, I know there's been a bit of a issue with the frames. Some of the frames, some of the clear coat with frames have been, um, you know, showing a bit of rust there under the lacquer. I think I think they've actually been sorting them out for people, for customers, which is really really good to hear. Um, that is really good to hear. I'd love to hear all that. You know, good customer service because there is no dealer networks available for uh, you know about round sort of nationwide and that and uh, you know they are they are just a sole out you know outlet manufacturer in uh, Bolton in the UK so there and uh, I'll tell you what I'm really looking forward to the summer this is really 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 um, an enjoyable ride today the, uh, sorry to put it back in the garage. I think we've got another cold spell coming. I know that the critters will be out again spying all that horrible grit on the road. So I know uh, we need it and it has to be done, but what a lovely day. Absolutely wonderful day. No issues with that clutch either. Like I say, I had the clutch slow to replace because I, I just completely lost clutch pressure. And... Uh, I think there was a slight issue with some of the slave cylinders, a bad batch of them maybe, I don't know. But no, it's absolutely absolutely fine now. So yeah, all done under warranty as well. When he came and done the service, that was all done, so yeah. I really am enjoying the CCM Spitfire 6. Number 275 or 300 this one. So, um, so far so good. One thing I did do, and I did mention in my winterisation video, or winter storage video, whatever I call that, I can't remember now, was about re filling the tank up, you know, brimming the tank with um, with fuel. Now, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of going to go back on my word on that one. I mean, I, I overfilled it, and I had fuel coming out of the overflow pipe, which really did stink my garage out. My garage stung the fuel. I really struggled to get rid of the smell, and uh, it's not very nice not very nice at all but one thing I will mention on, on you know about about that about what I said was really I mean this is a, a polyethylene plastic tank whatever you want to call it now that sort of method of filling the tank up is really to reduce any condensation inside the tank so if you've got a tank full of fuel you're not gonna you're not gonna uh, have to worry about any condensation and uh, you know with a plastic tank so you shouldn't do it anyway it's not gonna rot the tank oh quit me nipping here <laughs> oh glass in the road there so yeah I sort of take my take my word back on that one but like so I did overfill it and that was a bit annoying because what I really what, well what I did do I did actually go out for a little, just to lower the level of, of the fuel just around the local roads where 
you know, obviously where they, where they, uh, they hadn't grit, gritted. So, I'm just going to pull over here and we're going to have a look around this bike. I love this machine. Let's pull over in here. And, uh, oh, in the sun. Neutral. I've got no problems finding neutral now on this at all. Right, so we'll jump off. Ah, side stand. A little bit annoying that side stand because it's in the way of the exhaust there. Well, oh, sorry, the exhaust is in the way of the side stand, but oh, uh, ignore the cameras. But look at that in the sun now. I might have to get a photo of that for the thumbnail, but that is, look at it. I've missed riding this bike. I love all the attention to detail. I love everything about it. I love the frame, you know. It's all high-end components as well with the Brembo brakes. I've got twin discs on this one with the twin, twin brakes. You don't really need it, but it's on there anyway. I have been contemplating on a radiator guard as well. Uh, maybe I will do that. But yeah, the last thing I want is a stone flick it up and put a hole in the radiator. Hopefully not. But I mean, look at that. Battery's tucked away under there. You know, fully maintained through the window there. And hopefully the weather is going to stay like this. Uh, you know, for the foreseeable, there's not a, there's one or two clouds in the sky, but really it's the perfect day to be coming out on this bike. Let's give her a little bit of gas, have a listen. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Right, well anyway, I'm going to jump back on. Oh, then, before we go, before we get on, this is what they replaced. So they replaced the slave cylinder and bled all, bled all this line out here. And, uh, yeah, no, no worries there at all. So it's had a full service. Uh, all the oil's been changed because when they when they, when they first come, these are these are they got mineral oil in. So yeah, one thing I did do, I know, so these Marzocchi stickers they were starting to peel off. So I just stuck a little bit of super glue under there. But um, yeah, right. Let's jump on. I have got another bike on the way as well. If you're uh, new to the channel, you won't know, but I've ordered the, the Triumph Street 765, but the special limited edition Moro T one, and that I'm really looking forward to. So if you are a new subscriber, then, or if you are new to the channel, that'd be great to have you along. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, for plenty more ride outs coming to the channel. And uh, I don't just do new bike reviews, like I so I do ride outs and you know, other, other videos, so I'm just trying to stealth my way through the village here, lovely little village here, without causing any bother with the locals. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't grumble about this bike at all, and like I say, I'm nearly at the first thousand miles, so, and I plan to do a lot more miles on the bike. I don't plan to have it just tucked away, although obviously I won't be out as much when I get my new Moto, Moto T Triumph. But a nice equal balance is always good. But yeah, I am I am made up, made up with it. We'll just go along here a little bit, and we'll nip on at the twisties, and we'll wind it open and blow the dust off. I was going to go along the dual carriageway, but it just seemed a bit windy, and uh, it's not really very good for the likes of the audio. Yeah, like I say, no issues finding neutral, straight into neutral there, from first to first up into neutral and also from second down into neutral. Yeah, it was definitely interesting to ride the, the Herald Brute 500. There was lots of similarities. Obviously, it uh, didn't sort of have a patch on this, this bike, but there's lots of similarities. I mean, they were... I think they were claiming 80% British with that, but you know, the things like I know that the switch gear was the same as this, and the uh, the clock was the same, or very similar anyway. Although it didn't have a gear indicator, which I found a bit annoying. Oh, it's windy. Hope you can hear me through the microphone okay. I've got it under this speed here. Uh, yeah. But yeah, be interested to, uh, to hear your views. You know, any questions, let me know. I've also got a new addition to the channel, 
I like to have a bit of a ride to the channel of, um, you know, a Q&A, &A, so that's basically anything, anything you want to talk about, within reason. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll sort of take some of your questions, but like I said, I always try and like to answer all the questions, but I'll take some of your questions and I'll answer them on, uh, you know, on another video. Not a live stream, but very similar, so it's um, a bit more under control, really, so... You know, I can edit edit out when I when I uh, swear or <laughs> or when I uh, make a mistake or something. But yeah, lovely countryside out here. Very fortunate to live out here. This is uh, Norfolk here in the UK. Got a white van man coming towards me here. Is he gonna stop? Oh, no. Okay, I'll just pull in here. Let him through. Come on, sir. Through you come. Oh, he's letting me through. The white van man. I'll take back all I've said about the white van man. Thank you. Actually, the white van lady. Look at this countryside. I'm going to pull over and just take this in. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely lovely, lovely spot here. Oh, yeah. Lovely, very fortunate to live out, out this way. But yeah, I could ride this bike all day. To be honest, it's very comfortable. I mean, looking at it, you, you wouldn't think that, but it is very, absolutely very comfortable. The riding position is nice. So it's really it's a pleasure to ride. So uh, yeah, very, very, very good. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It'd be great to have you along to the channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.